Hey guys, Fishmonger here. I'm sure you're all familiar with the NiceHash profitability calculator. Uh, it's a really nice tool that you can use to basically check to see your video cards and how profitable they are. Uh, for instance, you have a little drop down list here. You can click on this, and apparently I put my mouse in the right spot. You can click on this and you can say, hey, I've got a GTX 1070 and I calculate how much money I'm gonna make. And it tells you, oh, you can make about $1.57 a day. Um, because it looks like Lyra 2 is the best thing to mine, and Dagger Hash is like a tiny, tiny chunk, and Equa Hash is the second best thing, and yay! I mean, it's kind of neat, you can see that, and like, oh look, you could trend over a month, and say, well, in the last month, Equa Hash has been dominating, but recently, in the last week, Lyra 2 has been taking over the majority of the week, and then in the last day, Lira 2 is also, uh, you know, the most profitable thing. So you'd look at this and say, oh, well, I should be mining one Lira 2. And if you use the, um, in Windows, if you use NiceHash with the profit switching automatic thingamajigger, then you probably don't have to worry about any of the stuff that's going to be in this video uh, because it automatically does that for you. I don't use Windows. I use Linux. And because of that, I don't have the ability to auto profit switch. So I have to kind of do it manually. Absolutely zero problems. I kind of like that. Uh, it gives me more control over the, the fact that I can mine exactly what I want, when I want. But here's the issue, is that the numbers here don't really match what I'm getting. Like, for instance, I did a chart the other day where I showed the, my Zotac, this card, my Zotac uh, 1070 Ti, e, pretty card. And I said, um, you know, what are the values it gets and basically how good is the card. So I went through the rest of my cards in my rigs, or my one rig really, and I benchmarked everything uh, with Equihash and Lyra and Daggerhash and Kryptonite. And for instance here, um, you can see that uh, on average, my three cards for uh, an Equihash, the 1070 Ti's are getting uh, 490 solutions per second. So if I were to come over, let me split this window here. If I were to come over and say, okay, let's come up here and say, all righty, we got a 1070 Ti. Let's take a look at this real quick. And I calculate this out. It'll tell me, oh, Lyra is totally dominating. I should be I should be running Lyra right now. And oh man, you know, I should be getting 50.83 mega hash on Lyra and Equihash 532. Equihash is the second thing. Well, I looked at this and I said, well, shit, I ain't getting nowhere near 532 i'm getting around 490 which is like you know close but not quite it and then my 1070 ti's are only getting 46 40 and 41 on lira i'm nowhere near the 50.8 is it the best thing for me to mine should i be doing lira or should i be doing echo hash i don't know because it's based on these numbers here, not my numbers. I don't really care what these numbers are. I care about what my numbers are. What should my rig be doing? So I don't know why I've never done this before, but apparently NiceHash has this little link right here that says show custom settings. And when you click on that, it allows you to manually type in your rig values. How awesome is that? How have I never noticed this before? Completely mind-blowing moment that this just never came to light. So if I were to punch in the fact that I've got three 1070 Ti's and they're using about, I'm going to type in 135 watts because between a couple of my different uh, algorithms, it's 130 to 140 watts. And really this only matters for the ROI, which I'll show you in a second. Um, let's say I paid... 400 per card, so that's 12, but actually I didn't. So like, let's say I paid like 1300 bucks altogether for the 1070 Ti's. Uh, and then as far as my values go, I'm getting on average on Lyra, about 43 mega hash per second, which is much lower than the 50. Uh, Dagger hash, I'm getting an average of, I can just copy this over, 30.1. And on Equihash, I'm getting an average of 489. And on Kryptonite, I'm getting an average of 
719 kilohash. So now when I click on calculate, it's going to tell me exactly, not an estimate, but exact, well, okay, estimate in exact based on the numbers today for Bitcoin and how they hold true, but you know, that's going to change. But it's a lot more accurate than just using the general numbers that were out there. Regardless, the neat thing is it now tells me, hey, the past earnings for three times NVIDIA GTX 1070 Ti is not just showing the one card, it's showing all three because I told it I have three cards. It's saying in a month I'm going to earn profit of $123 because I have a $30 electric bill. Um, and then basically it's 150 bucks in the reality, but I got to pay 30 bucks for that. So I'm going to profit 123. Um, it tells you your ROI. In this case, it's 275 days. Okay. And it's going to give you a more accurate chart here to show you, well, Lyra still is the most profitable thing. However, I really should be mining Lyra, not Equihash. The last day, at least in the last week, um, Lyra is still the most profitable. Equihash is a second. And then the last month, Equihash is the most profitable uh, thing to mine. So my 1070 Ti's should be on Lyra right now. Um, now, the thing that's interesting about this is it's telling me I've got a ROI of 275 days for my uh, 1070 Ti's. It's going to make a note, write that down real quick. So um, the reason I, I thought this was an awesome thing and my mind was blown is the fact that I had my rig, my Bahama Mama rig before completely on yeah this rig here was completely on equihash and it was just mine in dstm but what i've done now is i've switched it over to basically have my 1070 ti's and 1070s mine equihash and then my 1060s are all on dagger hashimoto so you can see here um and it's funny how it says gpu zero this is not here actually gpu zero here is this one it's you have to go by these charts. It's a little bit screwy. When you dual mine in uh, Hive OS, it's there's a little, little, couple of little bugs. But anyway, the uh, totals are proper. It's saying I got 2.36 uh, kilohash per second uh, in Equihash and 171 megahash per second on um, Dagger Hashimoto. This is the um, the actual numbers on my rig. So instead of uh, me getting uh, yeah, oh, and it's using 1,201 watts right now. Um, so this is going to be a little bit more profitable for me because now I've tuned the rig to basically mine the algorithms that are the most profitable for, for what the coins that are out there right now. And, uh, you know, like in windows, like I said, it auto switches that for you in Linux. You really can't do the, if they stay on top of that. My second rig here is actually just my little temp rig. This is just running dagger hash right now. I can actually just show it to you. It's this guy right here. Um, it's been hitting about 116 mega hash on um, Dagger Hashimoto for my five GTX 1060s. And then if I actually bring up my Bahama Mama rig, um, you can see it's getting about 170 uh, mega hash uh, for uh, Dagger Hash. And it's also getting about 2,360 um, solutions per second with Equihash because I'm dual mining on it right now. Um, basically, I got some of my cards doing one algorithm and some of my cards doing another. So... If I come back into my nice hash and I look at my average profitability or what I should be getting, it should be higher than before. I was getting around 0.0027, I think, average per day Bitcoin. Um, and now it still says that right now, but it's obviously it's going to take a little bit of while to catch up and tell me the, the accurate data. In fact, I can tell you right now it's down because it's my accepted speeds are lower technically than what I am running because, you know, I got 115 or whatever here and then 160, 170 here. So I'm looking at like a 285 mega hash a second and it's only got me a 204, which is a lot less. So this Bitcoin per day should actually be a lot higher. Uh, and then my Equihash, it's saying I'm about 3K uh, when in the reality I'm actually at 2.3. So it's telling me this is high and this is low. So if they were to fix themselves, this should be a little bit higher. So what I'm going to watch is this chart, because you can see in the last seven days, I've been earning about 0 0.0026 Bitcoin per day. Um, the last three days, it's been about, when it updates, uh, is again 0 0.0026. The last day, 0 0.0026. The last 12 hours, 0 0.0028. So... 
that's good. I mean, well, Lira probably had a big, big thing to do with that because I was mining Lira for a little bit when the prices were going through the roof. Um, but my goal is to see the in the next 12 hours, because I'm not doing Lira right now, but in the next 12 hours, I want to see my average uh, Bitcoin per day uh, go up uh, because obviously that's what I'm here to do is make money. So if you knew this already about nice hash and the profitability, like blah, blah, if you knew this already about nice hash and the profitability calculator, then more power to you. I didn't know this that you can go into such details with this before, and I actually kind of like this. Um, it's I guess similar to what to mine, like when you have what to mine, uh, because you know it says you can type in your hash rates and your power consumption and all that stuff, and um, it of course goes into a little bit more detail about other places to mine that's not necessarily always nice hash but this detailed profitability calculator within nice hash if that's really all you use is nice because it allows you to more accurately get an idea uh, engage uh, what your rigs can be doing if you aren't in windows and are not using that automatic profitability calculator so anyway, this is Fishmonger. I'm going to be signing out for now. It is 6.42 in the morning. I've been up since 4, had a horrible night's sleep, but I'm ready to start the day. I'm going to be building some more mining rigs for somebody who uh, asked for some custom stuff. And later I'll be doing some more custom cables for my actual mining rig themselves. I actually want to build one and videotape myself doing it and go through the process to kind of show everybody exactly how much work and detail goes into my cables um, because... They are a lot more expensive than just the ones that you generically find on like, you know, Amazon or eBay or whatever. Um, but there's a reason for that because they're custom made by me by hands. And I go through and do a lot of things that aren't done uh, normally. And that adds value. Um, and it just depends on whether or not you really feel like you want to pay for it. It's up to you. Me personally. Yes, I do. I want to get rid of that rat's nest of cables. It looks ugly. I hate it. Um, so I'm going to go through and measure the exact distance that I need for every single card in there and cut my cables and everything exact length. So it should be a beautiful work of art when I'm done with it. Um, and then of course, in six months when mining shits the bed, I'll be able to say, oh, that was fun and totally not worth it. And then I'll just, uh, throw my whole mining rig in the trash and go jump in a lake of fire. So I will catch you on the flip side. This is Fishmonger signing out. Mm -hmm.